As you know, a lot of people may use Tinder. But most of the time when you match on Tinder, you're not matching for personality. Most of the time you're matching because the person looks good. What looks good isn't always good for you. What's up? I'm Young Lifestyle and we're going to talk about Coffee Meets Bagel, which I feel is one of the most slept on dating apps. Now, I'm not afraid to admit that I've dabbled in a couple of dating apps. And most of the time you match with people based on how they look, but you don't really get to see their personality and what type of person they are. But in in terms of Coffee Meets Bagel, I feel that it's different. Now, fun fact, if you didn't know, Coffee Meets Bagel was actually featured on Shark Tank, and they were offered $15 million to be partners with one of the sharks. But they did not go through with the deal, which I feel was a very smart idea, because now they have a really good app and they don't have to share it with anybody. Now, the first thing that I really enjoy about Coffee Meets Bagel is the interface. The interface is really user-friendly and you don't find yourself getting confused on what you should do next. Second thing is the scarcity. Now, the main difference between Coffee Meets Bagel and the other apps is you don't get a lot of choices. In the eyes of somebody, that might seem like a really bad thing. I'm not gonna lie, in the the beginning when they only gave us 10 choices every single day I was kind of like what only 10 I didn't notice that it it works with the algorithm so they basically see what you like and the more that you use the app the more that they find out what you like and what is best tailored for you if you have like a thing for somebody who plays a lot of sports and they might be a certain ethnicity the algorithm will work to send more people of that type the third thing is the conversation starters now when it comes to dating apps I feel people struggle with the conversation starter now basically coffee meets bagel has taken that struggle out of the equation at the start of your profile they'll basically ask you for different qualities or things that you like to do this may include countries that you've traveled to food that you like or activities that you enjoy doing basically before messaging them the app will let you know something that you can start the conversation off with which i feel is one of the best app features because on the other dating apps a lot of people tend to start conversations off with hey hello and honestly that's the worst way you can start a conversation because a lot of people are saying hey hello that's not original now i did forget to mention that the app only leaves the line open between you and whoever you match with for only about seven days so you only have a certain amount of time to get the person off the app get their number which I feel is a good thing because it, it kind of gets you to speed up the process and get them off the app with these other apps you tend to just stay on the app for a long time and sometimes one person will leave the conversation and never come back so this makes you want to get the person's number within the first day or two which is something that you should already try to do. The fourth thing is Coffee Meets Bagel provides a photo lab and tips. Now the photo lab is somewhere where you can place two of your best pictures or what you feel are your best pictures. And people in the community will basically choose between the pictures. Now I feel this is a great feature because a lot of people tend to pick pictures that they feel are great representations of themselves. But in actuality, the picture might not be as good as they thought. The tips aren't anything really special they really apply to almost every single dating app basically not taking blurry pictures etc etc i feel it's a nice touch because a lot of the apps do not include that within their app. Now the last thing that I like about the app is they let you choose your preferences. Now this may not seem like a huge thing, but say I want me a snow bunny and I wanna just choose only, only white girls. A lot of these apps don't allow you to choose ethnicities. They limit you to only choose distance, and location basically that's about it and age group but with coffee meets bagel you're allowed to choose what ethnicity that you like so that i feel that's a great thing so why should you use the app well honestly speaking i feel like tinder is used mostly for hookups if you're honestly looking for somebody i feel that coffee meets bagel is one of your best bets majority of the people on that app are looking for relationships i can give you i can tell you that they are definitely looking for relationships. So if you're new to the dating scene and you want to try something new, I really recommend that you use Coffee Meets Bagel. If you have any questions about the platform or you have any questions for me, be sure to go and leave that in the comments section below. If this video has helped you in any type of way or you enjoy these dating videos, be sure to give me a like so I know that I'm doing a good job and I'll continue to make them every single week. Until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.